I mean, Connor, it's like almost like love hating Connor. Yeah. yeah. I, you can't not respect his fight game, but I mean, you know, he gets. I said Connor, I think, is the first one stepping a little bit. And we, we touched on this a little bit earlier. Sure. Uh, stepping into a big. Because if you, you don't want to get too wrestling, because then it's going to lose the thing. You know, you don't want somebody coming down the ring with like their f- classy Freddie Blassie now, too, like talking sure, shit. With, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you don't want it to get to. You, you want to keep that semblance of real, but actual. It's fun to have like an actual story of like these guys. Is don't that, like if there's actually real drama, yeah, or if it's, it's always fun. better. But when it's manufactured, you can feel it. I think you sometimes it. you really do. Connor's sideshow though is almost a distraction to the opponent. Like his sideshow though, when he gets in there, he really fights. Like he'll t- talk shit, but it's almost like I know a guy who's a big dude and he wears baggy suits, so you don't know how fucking big his arms are because he he'll fight. He'll he's a martial mm-hmm. artist. Uh, Connor almost does that. Like you look at him and go, oh, this guy's clowning. And you're like, oh, his fucking left is as fast as anybody in the UFC. And he hits as hard as anybody in this division has ever hit. Like he catches you off guard because of the sideshow. And I think sometimes that works to his advantage. Like these guys are like, get so mad and they're like, fuck him. He's just talking shit. Uh, unless you get a guy like Nate, whose head he can't get into or yeah. Khabib. He won't be able to get into Khabib's head. Well, that's the thing, dude. I mean... Maybe he can. We don't know. I mean, it seems like he probably won't be able to get into Khabib's head, no. but who knows? As Early as, predictions you know. are all over the place. Yeah, it's there's most, no consistency at all. Yeah, well, they don't know what kind of uh, what kind of pre-fight stuff they're going to have. They also want to see how they both handle the the conference, the uh, press conferences together. Khabib's undefeated, and he's been begging for Connor, <sighs> and he strangles people. I mean, you know, I I, I don't think he will get in Khabib's head I mean, at all. When you look at all of Connor's losses, it on came from on the ground. Yeah, that's right. And he said, "Uncle." And now I'm not hating on the guy. Sure. People think I hate Connor because I just say what I, I, I see. Uh, every time it was Joe Duffy, Nate Diaz, and I think some other dude. I don't know who else. I think he got lost three times, right? Yeah, he's uh, 18 and three, I think. I'm but they're all it. all three were by submission. Am I wrong? Uh, I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Let me all three was by submission. I don't want to cut off, guys. I have to get out. Of here. Oh, I'm Jay, you got my man. Get, yeah, I have to get ready to go to work and stuff. Okay, let's take a quick break. I got to piss. I'm gonna piss my pants. Yeah, Connor's twenty one and three. He, He's, okay. he has a submission loss to Nate Diaz, Joe Duffy, and uh, Artemis uh, Satenkov. Okay, oh, we're gonna, Satenkov, right off, everybody. <laughs> oh, Artemis is back. A couple of. Uh, couple of things. Uh, Greg Hardy, uh, who's worked on that development deal for the UFC, 2-0 uh, on the finale of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender mm-hmm. Series. He knocked out Tabaris Gordon in 17 seconds. I don't know if he's ready for the UFC, but he really looks good. I don't know if he has a really good ground game um, or if he's just a slugger who really, really hits hard. Because those guys, guys who just really hit hard, again, guys find a way around that. We talked about that earlier. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Dana was – they asked uh... – Dana after the fight and he was like you know there's nothing but time with this kid he can keep working it's only his second fight and he's you know he's got to work on his wrestling because after knocking out these two guys the way he did nobody's gonna want to stand with him so you know but he looked really really good Matt did you see the fight I want to see it yeah I mean we could throw it on for it's 17 seconds yeah that's what I want to see I was waiting to see I heard it was short that's why I wanted to see it here yeah Uh, here to see so All right. For an How many fights does he have? Second. This is his second fight. He fought on June twelfth uh, in the Contender Series, and this is his second fight, which was uh, right. well, yeah. That Tuesday guy night. has not been doing his abs. <laughs> yeah. Boom. He throws hard, and he's got some. He's got fast hands, but a good knee. Drops him. Boom, boom. Back of the head, though. That was back of the head. Yeah, but he dropped him right above the ear. Yeah. He had, how, was this, how many, he had a mean was, face on a bit too long for my wrong. taste, but um, <laughs> he had a, like a mean face after he won. I didn't necessarily need that. <laughs> I, I, I could have done without yeah, that. He might have um, been in the moment. Yeah, he was in the yeah. moment. He was in the moment. But, however, he, he really is, uh, he has potential without a doubt. I mean, you know, you're not going to send him in there against DC. No. Um, but, you know, how, how old is he? I was about to ask that. Yeah, yeah, but I always jump to the age question, you know, because you humiliate people with age. I like to. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Uh, I'm checking right I'm now. I'm sorry, he's, Jimmy. He's only 30, so as a heavyweight, oh, he's got, he's time, got yeah. plenty of time to. Sure you know, does. People with this age thing. I remember when I was uh, 31 in the Ultimate Fighter, the comeback uh, season, and everybody was making like I'm an old man back then. They're like, ah, it's the old house. That's the guys that are older. What? You won that, right? Did you win this? Guys, cut it out, guys. Stop! It was over a decade ago. So what? It was over a decade ago. Doesn't matter. You're still that I 
won the Ultimate Fighter season four of the comeback. God damn right I did. God damn right I did. I did it. Sorry, guys. By the way, Dana said the uh, yes. uh, tough is sticking around. They're gonna do. They're gonna oh. keep doing more seasons after the Gaslam Whitaker season. Is that what he said? Yeah, but there's gonna be a new tough gym. They're they're actually getting a new facility. Well, I've oh. seen the UFC facility. They took me on a tour when you and I did that thing. Yes, and it was. I mean, when when the drivers took you all over the place. Ah, those breathtaking, terrible. <laughs> what? There was the drivers. Oh, took- you. Mean, <laughs> that driver. Let me terrible. tell you about that driver. Does not get a hangout pass with me again. That was really bad. You know? I mean, he, what other... And the car give me company some more gossip me before too. we get out of here. Give me some well, juicy, well, juicy... GSP is picking Khabib. Curtis Blades, after that uh, brutal uh, Overeem KO, is uh, politely asking Stipe to fight. He's saying, I appreciate all you taught me five years ago. It's an honor to be a part of your camp with the current situation. I'm sure we don't want to wait until spring. Are you free? for this 25th anniversary card. He's not disrespecting him or saying, I'll kick your ass. He's just like, let's just fight because it'll be a big fight. Right. Well, and that, I mean, that does make sense. Like that's a legit, uh, call out, you know, who knows if Stipe wants to, to fight that soon or what, but that's a, that would make sense to put Curtis blades with Stipe. If, if, you know, everybody wanted to do that. Cormier is saying if Brock doesn't make it, he will fight Stipe. Uh, he's fighting Brock because it's Brock. Um, but if he doesn't make it, I'll fight Stipe again. That's a money thing. And, and, you know, they have to understand there's very few guys who can draw like Brock, and it's a right. smart move. I mean, again, I get why they're doing it. Well, and here's the other thing. I mean, I think, I don't know how you guys feel. I think a lot of people are, are kind of assuming DC is going to win that fight. If he doesn't win that fight, Brock's the heavyweight champion, DC's retiring, then that opens up a lot of other possibilities, too. Stipe could fight Brock. A lot of people could fight Brock if he's the champion. Absolutely. You know? so, that would be a great fight. I'd love to see Stipe and Brock. Right. And then, one thing, then again, I don't want to see DC lose they were, to Brock. No. They were bringing Brock in regardless, so that's the one uh, thing that uh, makes yes. me feel better about it, where if Stipe won that fight, he would have been fighting Brock. So I Absolutely. think that's what makes me feel... Okay with the situation because yeah. you, in other words, it's, it was not yeah, personal. A, well, yeah, man, it's the, a, this he's coming. You, one of you guys is fighting him next. That's basically what they were saying. You know what I mean? So, hey, it is what it is. But things are exciting, though. Any other news updates that I have to know before we get out of here? Yeah, there's some other news. I mean, you kind of mentioned it uh, on the last show, but we could. I, I got it, you know, kind of written down Go here. Ahead. Kevin Lee and Rage and Ally Quinta have been What's going, going on with that uh, back and forth. So Kevin Lee. Uh, said on on a show he was on that he would love to fight Al. You know, that they should put that fight together. Al, of course, responded on Twitter and said, Kevin Lee is a dweeb, doesn't make weight, doesn't deserve a title shot, (laughs) scared to bump up to his natural weight class at 170. I'll fight him no earlier than MSG. He's a bird and I do what I want. He's Uh, a bird? Yeah. I call Jimmy a bird sometimes. Yeah, well, there you go. So maybe it caught on. And then, uh, and then, and then Al tweeted Beijing China versus a guy named Lee with like a, you know, thinking emoji. Um, and then, and then Kevin Lee replied, don't be a little bitch and try to get out of it. Come get this work. Blah, blah, blah. So these guys are going back and forth. That'd be a great fight. Yeah. Two opposites. Yeah. But again, after Khabib, it was a good fight the first time too. Al has, uh, yeah, that's right. And after Khabib, I mean, Al is certainly not afraid of, uh, not that he was ever afraid, but you know what I mean? Like he's got some, he knows how to keep somebody from pulling him down when he has to. Yeah. Al's a terrible matchup for everybody. 